So now let's see how we can make the cells static right here. So if I were to go around over here, you can see that this is the cell A2. And if I were to go around over here and press equals and then click on this one, it's A2 as you can see right here. I can press enter and if I were to click and drag it, then the data actually changes out. That is, this is A2 and as I drag in, this is A3. But sometimes I may not want that. So as I drag in, I may not want the data to automatically update. In my case, I want one of the data's rows or column to be static. So in my case, I want the two. That is, let's say, for example, I want uh, this to be static right here, just like this. So let, let me just go around right here. This is one, two, three, four. So I'm going to say A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, I right here. So this is what I have. So in my case, let me just go around and then center align these as well. So now what I want is, let's say, for example, I want this right here. So I want A2 over here. But as I drag in, I do not want the other data, but I want uh, the row to be freezed out. If I were to click and drag this, you can uh, see, right? If I were to click and drag it out right here, you can see that there's A, but I just want the row to be freezed out. So in that case, I can go around and in the formula bar, be... Uh, like besides two, you can just add in a dollar sign. So in that case, now what happens is that uh, the row is static. And if I were to click and drag it, now you can see that the row does not change. But if I were to click and drag right here, you can see that the uh, column is um, um, dynamic, but the row is static right here. If you want the column to be dynamic as well, so you can go around and over here, you can add in the dollar sign just like this. And you can go around, click and drag it right here. And then you can see that that does not change either. So just like this, if you want the column or row to be static, let's say, for example, I just want the column to be static. Then you can go around, click and drag this as much as you want and create the copies just like this. So this might be useful in a lot of cases right here. Let's say, for example, you want to create a multiplication of two right here. So I'm going to say two and I want to go around and add in a basic value right here. So I'm going to say uh, A2 multiplied by two. So this is the value and I want it to be static right here because I am not going to type multiple twos. So in that case, you can add in the dollar sign over here and here, this is what you have. And if you were to click and drag it, there you go. That is what you have. And you have the multiplication table of three, multiplication table of four, of five, six, um, and there you go. That is how you can actually generate our data uh, quite easily by using static cell. And that is how you can use static cell inside of Google Sheets. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.